Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Monster Drink Fan 605. And as you notice, I got a haircut and I got rid of the black hair. So, um, I also cut some growth some chin hair a little bit. Um, yeah, there's something a little bit different about me. I haven't recorded a video with my webcam for a while and recorded the video of myself. Uh, but I did make a new video on my Crazy Nephew 570 account, which is me flipping out. It's because my nephew wanted to get revenge on me for, you know, for, you know, doing all those videos about him, though. So, um, uh, if you want to see that, there's a link in the below. Uh, if you guys want to see that, um, because there's so much you missed about that, though. You guys haven't heard of Crazy Nephew. It's, you know, it's in the link in the description here. So, um, he's another freak out person, like Angry Grandpa, Waffle Pound, McJugger Nuggets, and Big Brother, and Psycho Dad, and. He, he's like all those other people, also like the Torts guy, um, but uh, just to let you know that Jacob doesn't have any symptoms, he doesn't have autism, he doesn't have uh, bipolar disorder or depression or anger issues. He does range a lot though, but he's a little kid though, and you know, he sometimes acts crazy, you know, that's his, you know, his character, and you know how crazy enough he goes, so, um, but anyways, this is not what this is all about though, uh, Today I want to do a documentary, my very first documentary about a YouTube user called Claw 13 Aples, and this documentary is called The Legacy of Claw 13 Aples. Now for most of you that don't know very much about him, I know I did a lot of videos about him back then, I know he's old news, but we're going to rewind everything that ever happened, the very beginning of Claw 13 Aples. So, let me think of how am I going to get started here. So, um... Um, let me just introduce myself. This is Scotty. I'm a Huey. And I have a bunch of YouTube accounts, though. I have other random ones, you know, surrounded on YouTube. And I, uh, I don't want to talk very much all about, you know, about all of them, but I know I have Lyric Shooter and I know I was a bandwagon. I pretty much learned my lesson about everything, you know, not to go after old news, trolls, and, you know, you know, go after new topics, like the new commentary I made, um, you know, I thought the guy was new, I decided to do something because I was bored, you know, I decided to make a commentary just to keep you guys, you know, flowing, you know, type some comments, or, you know, so, um, let's talk about Claw 13 Angels, so let's get started, um, now the very um, uh, beginning of Claw 13 Angels, um, Here's where it all started, okay? I'm a big fan of Waffle Pound, okay? I've been watching her videos, you know, where her Steven dropped out and because his mom canceled his World of Warcraft account and he shoved the remote up his ass and went in the closet and went out of the closet, smacked his head with a shoe and and there are so many videos of him, you know, destroying stuff and flipping out just because his brother Jack is filming him and him destroying the truck and and you know, um, running outside in the cold, you know, you know, no other clothes on, just uh, shorts and no shoes on, and you know, I'm, I mean, if, if that was, you know, him, I mean, of course you can be sometimes a breath sometimes, but the, probably the reason why he's like that, he's probably bipolar, or he just has anger issues, you know, I have anger issues a little bit. Well, you know, I sometimes hit things, you know, I get frustrated sometimes, you know, I'm sort of like Steven a little bit, but I don't have a big character like Steven, but um, I know that Jacob has a little bit of big character of him a little bit, but you know, he's just a little kid though, you know, sometimes, you know, big grown men flip out is because, you know, bad things happen to him, but you know, that... If those videos were real, I would feel bad for him, but I think the videos are actually kind of fake, it's because, um, like, in one video, I know I'm, you know, changing the subject here, and not moving on to Cloud 13 Ables, but let me just continue, let me start off with, you know, Stephen Choir, okay? In one video, his shirt was, like, ripped on his shirt, and he just walked in, like, cut a, uh, rip in his shirt, and then he, like, ripped it when he was standing on the truck. Um, 
that's pretty much why it's fake though, because, you, you know, how can he just rip his shirt off so freaking quick and, you know, and just wait when the camera got off him, like his shirt was on, then the camera got off him, the camera comes back, and then his shirt is off so quick, because he ripped it, and I don't think, I don't really think he would probably rip his shirt off, I mean, it, 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 it like takes like at least three seconds to take his shirt off though, but for some reason in this one part it takes only like one second for him to take it off though. So I, I know I was stuttering a little bit, but I apologize, so, um, <coughs> this is my first documentary, so let me just start off with clapping me, but okay, so since Wobble Pound became a very popular hit, and, you know, there was millions of views on this guy, and he was posted on, uh, he was seen on CNN, and all around the world, he's very popular, he's a very popular YouTuber, um, it all started whenever he... Got his World of Warcraft account canceled, and he was probably like this before. Well, Jack said he was like this before, you know, he even filmed them. Like he was like this when they were young, and you know, when they were just toddlers, you know. But so, Clapper the Ables actually was a really big fan of their video, so he really thinks that he can uh, thank a YouTube account saying that he's Jack Flyer, but he's not really Jack Flyer. He's just uh, saying that he's Jack Flyer so he can get many views. Now this ain't trolling though, that's just being a douche though. I mean, I mean, if you're just going to say you're Jack Flyer and just, you know, make a fake YouTube account about it and just make millions of views, that's just being, you know, that's being a scammer, okay? That's just, you know, I mean, well, that's, that's considered scammer fraud. That's, you know, you're just trying to make more money or whatever, it's a scam. But, you know, and also plus it's fraud is because if he's um, pretending to be someone so he can get more money, that's considered uh, fraud and he can get arrested for that, but hey, he probably did that before and he probably got arrested for it, but I don't know. I know the Flat 13 Abel's character very well, you know, he can sometimes be, you know, not a listener and, you know, he has problems, you know, with communicating and, but let me just start off. So he decided he wanted to make a fake YouTube account to pretend like he's Jack Flyer so he can get many views, but then he learned his lesson later because he changed his username Jack Flyer to um, Cloud 13 Apples, his second channel. And because um, I talked to him through Skype and he completely understands the mistakes he's making and he finally admitted that he made the Jack Flyer account right on a Skype recorded video which was deleted and I don't have that video anymore. I wish I did though and I will show you guys but um so that's pretty much what happened with you know Cloud 13 Ables. But uh you know like we had fun you know we talked to uh, Skype at night times you know we after when you know he admitted that you know he was Jack Fire we became friends you know we had fun and you know screwed around and and but, you know, some drama unfolded later on, though, is because, you know, of his um, communication issues, his behavior issues, and, um, but we done, um, later on, I didn't know his motive for why he's like that, um, but I'll get to that as um, soon as possible, but that will probably take about a few minutes until I get to that, so, um, but anyways, you know, we had fun, and then, also, Dro, you know, like, uh, well, you know, Cloud 13 Ables one time made a video saying that he made the Jack Flyer account, and then he said a few lyrics here, and, and then he just, you know, cut the video there, then he deleted the video, but I got a chance to download the video right before he deleted it, and then when he deleted it, I re-uploaded it on my lyric shooter account, which is probably still there, but... I put mirrored at the end like what other people do with other videos because, you know, mirrored means that it's re-uploaded and that, you know, it was downloaded right before the person deleted it. And it, I, I'm, it's kind of surprising that he didn't remove for copyright. Maybe he's not a butthurt person, but he's waiting until now. Because he flagged the video one time, but we'll get to that later. So, you know, Cloud 13 Ables, you know, he's you know, a very master of making drama, you know, he's, um, but it either he has, um, some sort of bipolar disorder or, um, autism or whatever, but 
I mean, I don't care if he's bipolar or, you know, autistic, you know, still, you know, act like that. I mean, but here's the thing, though, like, here's what I'll continue, you know, drill accepted, clapper enables apology, you know, drill is sticking up for me and, you know, what he said to me and then, so, and, um, and the computer turn off, so, um, you know, Cloud 13 Eagles, you know, um, me and Kim and Dro, you know, all became friends is because Cloud 13 Eagles apologized, um, after, you know, what all happened, and, and we became friends, we just got it over with, you know, we had fun, we talked, and talked about random things, you know, but that was a long time ago, but, you know, the reason why I'm talking about this right now, I'm just going to explain what, and what really happened about Cloud 13 Eagles, so you guys can understand what really happened, some things you missed, or some things you didn't. Well, some of you probably missed it, and some of you probably didn't miss it, so. But, uh, Drew, I haven't talked to him in a while, though, um, but he has talked to me in the club for a while, so. And then, um, Drew had such and things like, there, um, uh, Drew had made, you know, like, a lot of stuff that's, He's saying that there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's nothing that has to do with Claude. But he said that, you know, whoever uploads anything that's copyrighted on the internet will be, like, arrested or something. I didn't pretty much believe that at a point, though, but I'm not sure if that was true or not, though. But I think he was just doing that trying to scare me. But I don't consider Dro a troll it's because he subscribed to me, and I don't, you know, think he's really a troll or anything, but... I mean, I believed him, so I deleted something that was copyrighted and, and just, you know, moved on, though, and, and I kind of, well, actually, I did have one thing copyrighted and I didn't tell him, though. I was trying to test to see if this will work, though, and if it did, and I'll, you know, just try to see what happens, and so I waited, mm -hmm. and nobody showed up at my door. So I kind of figured that it was a false alarm, and you know, so, um, but then, uh, other stuff had went on, like, um, another thing one time happened that Cloud 13 Aples was just, you know, messing with my head, and I'm trying to explain something, but, you know, he keeps on interrupting when I'm trying to talk to Dro, though. It, this pretty much proves how much immature he is, though, because immaturity, you know, if you're just being a, com a comedy wizard or whatever, you don't. Because, you know, that's being immature, even if it's a serious situation. You don't be, a, you know, a comedian. Because, you know, I mean, if you really think you're, you know, well, you know, I don't really think Claude was being funny. I think he was being really immature, and he should grow up. And because he, you know, he was actually kind of acting like a three-year-old. Because three-year-olds do that, you know, they act really immature. They interrupt situations, and you know. Because you know, I'm trying to tell Dro something. Like you know, this happened in multiple Skype calls. Um, but I'm trying to tell Dro something. But you know, Dr you know, Claude just kept on going on and on and on, and then. And I kept on telling him, one, you guys know Chris Chan, right? Um, he has autism. Um, I also have autism too, but it's only mild and it's not really bad. But um, I do have anger issues, though, as you can tell that you know, I got really mad at Claude, though. But that's not considered trolling. That's being an idiot. I mean, so here's what happened, okay? So I made a video a long time ago, and I made a parody on Chris Chan's, you know, of him humping his PS3. And, you know, I was just making fun of Chris Chan. I wasn't making fun of myself, though. And I know you, some, some of you have said, though, that, like, I know this is a parody, but seriously. Well, it's a parody. I mean, just because it's a parody doesn't mean it's wrong, though. If it's a parody of something, then there's nothing wrong with that, though. Because, you know, a lot of people do parodies on things, like Waffle Pound, like what Claude does, he does a parody on Waffle Pound, which I don't have a problem with, though. The only problem I have is that he's, you know, trying to, uh, you know, think like he's him, though. I mean, 
I mean, I'm not dumb though. I know he's not Jack Carter though when I first talked to him though, so. Then he finally admitted it, so, you know, he gave up and, you know, he finally admitted it though, so. Um, but the thing is, you know, I know he's a dead topic, but this is just a documentary of what really happened a really long time ago and how it all started. So, right, let me continue. So, the video I made about Chris, you know, Chan about humping his PS3, I made a parody and I called it PSP Triple X. Like, you know, what Chris Chan called his video, he called it PS3 Triple X. Because, you know, it was a video of him humping his PS3 is because he's trying, I'm like, because he's. His PS3 account got hacked, so he decided that he wanted to make a video of himself humping his PS3 because he really thinks that it could bring his PS3 account back to life and they can come back to him and get away from the person that hacked his account though. Which really doesn't work though, but I decided to make fun of him by making a parody on him. Because I thought it was kind of funny, and I laughed at the video the first time I saw Chris Chan's video. Because I, I actually kind of thought it was kind of funny the first time I watched the video, so. But the thing is, Cloud 13 Able does not understand the fact that it's a parody, but he kept on saying it's not a parody. That I really did that because, you know, I was stupid. But no. See, Cloud doesn't understand the fact that it's a parody. And that's not considered trolling, that's being stupid, okay? He hasn't watched the video of Christian Hump and his PS3 yet until I actually did show him the link to the video and he actually watched it. But then he kept on saying to P and that your PSP video was not a parody. But it was a parody. See, he really thinks he's trying to troll though, but he's failing at it though. If you really wanted to troll someone, you need to add, like, enthusiasm and, well, here's the thing, okay, when I troll people, I, I mean, I trolled people back when I was, like, 13, I think, um, but actually, I, I used to troll someone in school, though, um, well, I didn't call it trolling whenever I first said it, though, I mean, but I actually just called it messing around, but I used to troll this one kid by the name of Brett Drum in my school, um, I used to, like, um, you know, get him in trouble, and you know, because you know, I'm just a bully, you know, I was, you know, I was just an asshole, and you know, I had a pretty much fun time. I didn't have a motive why I always mess with him, though, but I just, you know, like messing with him because it was kind of fun, you know. I had a really fun time, though, but see, the, the thing is, you know, Clock 30 Ables, um, you know, doesn't understand the fact of trolling them. Like, say, like, for example, okay, if I said something like, um, uh, no, you didn't go shopping. You are upstairs masturbating. And then I said, and then the other person says, no, I went shopping. I wasn't upstairs masturbating, you idiot. And then I kept on saying, no, you were upstairs masturbating. See, that's the form of trolling. Well, that's pretty much what Quantum being able to do. But I understand what he yeah, was actually doing. Okay, he was trying to troll, but he's failing at it. I actually understand what he's trying to do, though. And, you know, after whenever I showed him the video, though. But, you know, I learned the lesson that, you know, like, well, you know, Cloud 13 Ables is now a better person. Now I actually talked to him one time. Uh, he seems a little bit the same, but he's a little bit different. Um... Yeah, he has a girlfriend, and I have a girlfriend too, uh, but I'm not going to announce her name because, you know, I'm not going to be a person who exposes someone's name that I'm not, you know, kind of person like that because I know what happened last time when I did something like that, I got called out for it. And, but the thing is, the reason why I got called, I'm a, well, the reason why I did something like that because I was autistic, I didn't know better. But then whenever I grew, you know, at the age of 18, I understand the fact that I did something wrong and I learned better and, you know. So, that's pretty much the whole concept of, you know, Cloud 13 Ables. But also one time, this one thing happened, uh, and it was big. And I wasn't allowed to talk to him for three, I think probably three weeks, I think. No, I think the entire week, I think. I was allowed to talk to someone else, though, but I wasn't allowed to talk to him or Joe for a while because of him. Because he was a fucking, he was being a fucking idiot. He was being a drama queen, and he was being an idiot. So let me just explain what he did, okay? 
I had a bloody nose, okay? While I was talking on Skype, though, all of a sudden my nose, like, started bleeding for some reason. I didn't know why it was, that was happening. It's probably because of the heat around the house. Um, but I was, like, bleeding, like, really bad, and then he took a picture of it, and I was just making an angry face. I was screwing around, though. I was just screwing around, though. You know, I was just making a monster face, you know, with bloody, you know, with blood coming out of the nose. I was just being silly, you know. You know, I, I was making a face like this in the picture. And then, you know, blood was running down my nose, and I was just being silly, and, you know, just having a fun time, you know. He laughed, and I laughed, and, just, you know. But, uh, I didn't tell him it was fake blood, though, but he thinks it was, I think he did say he thinks it was fake blood. I don't know, that was a long time ago, but, um, but, yeah, there was blood, like, running down my nose, um, uh, and there was probably the heat, and I think, I think it was probably the heat, I think, because there was no fan running, and it was the summer, I, I think it was the summer, I think, that happened. Um, so he took a picture of that, and it was on the same day where Dro wasn't actually feeling good, like his, um, his voice was gone or something, like he lost his voice, um, like he sounded something like this, like he sounded like an old man, I'm not trying to make fun of him or anything, but it did sound like he lost his voice. Cause that's what I think that's what he said though, and I think he had like take cough syrup or something, and then uh, he was like, "What's going on? I'm not feeling pretty good today." You know, well he sounded pretty much like that. I'm not trying to make fun of him. I'm a good friend. I, I'm a good friend of his, and you know, I haven't talked to him for a while. I haven't talked to him on Skype for a while though, and, and he hasn't been online for like forever. Probably it's because he gave up on Skype and moved on. He actually closed his YouTube account, I think. Um, that's why I haven't seen him for a long time. I guess he gave up because of all the drama, I think, or all the stuff that's been going on or something. I don't know, but... But, yeah, um... You know, Cloud Throating Ables was Cloud Throating Ables. You know, he had behavior issues and... Um... I'm starting to think he's kind of a person that probably was in an emotional support class or something. It's probably just because of his behavior or something. Um, his mom did say that he grounded him a bunch of times, but I will get to that later. Um, but, uh, let me continue. After when I got a bloody nose and Cloth Thirteen Ables kept on saying the same thing. He kept on saying that my PSP video was not a parody, but it was. It was a parody of Christian and... He kept on saying it over and over and over again, just, you know, and I did the joke, okay, he was trolling, but then he was just saying it to really annoy me, and he was interrupting me in drill, okay, that's not, that's not trolling, that's being an idiot, that's just being a complete douche, alright, alright, that's just being an idiot, okay, just interrupting someone that's disrespectful, and it's rude, and you know, I'm actually trying to tell Drew something, but he kept on going on, 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 and then, I made a threat to him, I was just so pissed, and I can't control my anger, and, you know, he just kept on, I tried removing him from the Skype call a bunch of times, but Joe kept on adding him in, and I said, don't bring him in, because he keeps on doing the same thing over and over and over again, and he brought him back in, so, then I made a threat, and then, Joe and him tried calling the police, they were, he, they were trying to get my attention, like they wanted me to get my mom, and my mom came over, I, I told my mom to come over here because I made the threat, and, because, you know, and then my mom came over, and, uh, so what's this about, and then saw some videos of me, I, I was looking up my videos a little bit, and, and he saw some videos, and then he saw Pema, she saw the picture of me with the bloody nose, uh, but I was being silly though, I was just being goofy, and, but she didn't get that though, and that's what really pissed me off the most. She didn't get the fact that I was just being silly, you know. There was actually, there was actually blood coming out of my nose though. I was just being silly, and you know, and I didn't really know I was going to have a bloody nose until, you know, it actually happened, like it just randomly started pulling down. I didn't actually punch myself in the face or anything, I didn't cause, you know, pain to myself or anything. It just like randomly came down, like it was probably the heat around the house or something, because I don't know though, but it was a long time ago, so, uh, sorry about my voice right there. <coughs> so, um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much everything what happened. Um, and then what happened is, mom was tired of me bringing her over to the computer desk and what's really going on. I brought her over like three times like that already. And she got really pissed off because of all the drama that's been going on on Skype. She, so she told me to remove Dro, Claude, and just talk to anybody else but Claude and Dro for a week. And that's what really pissed me off. And I decided to go upstairs in my room, play Call of Duty, just to calm myself down. And, you know, I just needed to calm myself down. And I was literally in tears because Claude just got me so worked up. And, you know, you know if you're going to be a friend of someone, don't annoy the fuck out of someone. Because that's how you lose your friends. And I have removed him. Now let me continue with this next one. I removed Claude and Abel's one time from my Skype contacts. The only reason why is because I'm tired of his babyish immaturity, disrespectfulness, just had enough. So I decided to talk to other people, like other commentators, like Mr. Sir Raven, Logasm, which I haven't talked to him. I mean, he hasn't been online for like a while now. But I think he's like gone now. He's on a different YouTube account somewhere, rolling around. So it's been a while since I need to talk to him, though. He's actually a pretty good friend of mine. I actually now accept his opinion on Smosh. Um, but this is the. Uh, I should have made this documentary on the one year anniversary of the all uh, drama thing, so. Um, so, yeah, um. But then, he said he wanted to call right back to me, one time. He said, Please, Scotty, please give me another chance. I promise. I won't keep on agitating you like that anymore. And I promise. I promise you from the bottom of my heart, I will be a good friend. I am sorry. I caused you so much pain, abuse, and I'm sorry. And you know, he in the he was literally in the he was literally in tears too. You know, he wanted me to come right back to him though, and I said, no, so you treat me like crap. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of you getting on my back every time when I talk to Dro and some of my friends. And you're just the most immature human being in this most entire life, and you need help. You need a psychiatrist or something. And I and then he said, I promise I will fix it. I promise I will become a better person. And I said, Nope. And I said, Go fuck yourself. And then he gave up for a while. But then he came calling back again. And then he said, please, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry what I did, and I promise I won't do it anymore, I promise, please, one more chance, okay, I'm sorry, and then I said, fine, I'll give you another chance, but on one condition, since we both have Xbox Live accounts, we can talk on Xbox 360 Live or not. And let me see if you improve first before we go on Skype. Because I want to test to see if you became a better person. And then... See, the thing is, I was actually trying to get him to learn about how to be a better friend. You know, not to cause people drama, not to make people, you know, literally angry and frustrated and just punch things like 3,000 times and, you know. I'm just trying to make him understand that I don't like stress, okay? Because I already had enough stress, you know, my uncle died, my grandpa died, and, you know, I had deals with depression for like a while and I'm... I just want, you know, peace. I want to be a person who wants a normal life and doesn't like to be treated 
like a piece of crap. You know what I mean? Because you know, I just you know, you know, some of you guys have felt bad for me. You know what I, you know what I've pretty much been through. I've been through a disorder. You know, that I've been going through for a very long time since when I was born. And you know, and you know what you, you know. Some of you guys, you know, you know what you guys think that it's like. You know, because some of you guys probably have it, and I don't like to say the word because I don't like that word for some reason, but autism. Okay, so. But. I go through very good quality sometimes in life. You know, I go to school, normal, eat my food, eat breakfast every day, work out, watch TV, go outside, go swimming, and do random stuff, and you know. But, you know. That's pretty much, I don't know if, ever, if Claude ever does that, if he ever has a life though. Because if he doesn't go outside that much though, that's costing value in his life. Because people in this world just need to go outside. I'm not telling, I'm not telling him what to do or anything. I know I'm sounding a lot like Dr. Phil, but... And you know, he said it the same way I said it. I'm not trying to tell him what to do, I'm not trying to control him or anything, but I'm just saying. You know, like people who go inside a lot, maybe just, you know, need to go outside some. So that's pretty much what I do. I go outside a lot, you know, I have fun, I go swimming, but, you know, one time I was afraid to jump into a water pit, I'm out, you know, pool of water, but, but I took some swimming, I, I wanted to take some swimming classes, you know, so I could learn, and, you know, but I have a huge problem with fear, and, you know, I had that since when I was a kid, so. But the thing is, you know, what I did is, you know, I talked to him a lot on Xbox 360 until he approved on his behavior. See, I was testing him. I said, okay, I'll be friends with you again, but on one condition, I'm going to test you on Skype, see if he became a better person, who doesn't cause drama, and doesn't, you know. See, I don't really care how he communicates with me, okay? I mean, I like talking to people a lot on Skype, okay? I'm, you know, I'm okay, whatever, what people, you know, what really floats their boat. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So, but then he finally learned his lesson, you know, I tested out some of his improvements on Xbox 360, and I guess it seems to be going pretty good, um, but I, so here's one thing, I wanted to get kind of revenge on him. And, trust me, this some of you guys might probably make, and some of you guys might probably think this might make you a little bit happy, because you know, you know, some of you guys think this guy's a douchebag and he needs to stop his nonsense, and you know, Mr. Kylo too agrees with me on that. So, you, you all, you guys remember Mr. Kylo too. You know, it's been a while since I talked to him. I really wish I could talk to him today, maybe right now or maybe later. So, um, but uh, it is now 9:57 p.m. I mean, a.m. actually. And well, you can actually tell it's a.m. because it's light outside. So it's, if it's 9:57 p.m., then it will be dark outside. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I made mistakes in the past, but you know, I'm I'm trying to learn though. I mean, I'm trying to learn how to become a better person too. I have behavior issues too, and I have communication issues too. But I tried my best to control it and become a better person. I have personal issues too, and you know, some some people have personal issues. You know, there's no problem with that. And there's, you know, just people have problems. You know, some people have to go through it and just you know ignore the problem and just move on. But but anyways, let me just move on with what I was gonna say. So anyways, um, me and him were playing Grand Theft Auto 4 online. Uh, so I decided I wanted to mess with him for a little bit. Revenge, because he's been, because if he's gonna, you know, keep on agitating me all the time, I mean, I kind of figure, why not do the same thing to him, you know, because, you know, what I was gonna do to him was pretty much, um, was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I was doing is I kept on killing him on GTA 4, like, you know how people flip that whenever they keep on getting killed on Call of Duty, like my nephew, um, I'll tell you one story about a Call of Duty episode on the Crazy Nephew channel. I'll give you a link to the channel below, so, um, 
But anyways, um, so I was, I kept on killing Quattro's and Amos on, on GTA 4, and then he got pissed off, and he broke his GTA 4 disc, and then he was really angry, and he had to buy a new one. But he didn't buy a new one yet, but it was pretty surprising, though, but he, I don't really think if he played GTA 5 yet, I'm not really sure, but I think he did say he got GTA 5, but, um, but yeah, um, so, after when I kept on killing him on Xbox Live, he got really pissed off, he gave up, and then he got out of the GTA 4 game. So, um, I had my revenge, I felt really better, I finally got it out of my system, and I moved on with everything, I hang out with my friends, Elijah, Taylor, they sometimes agitate me too, they agitate the really living hell out of me, worse than Claude, but sometimes they're really nice to me, they really help me, I learn how to do things better, and but sometimes they don't do that though, they just be an asshole about like, hey, you can't learn anything, but you know, that's just being a total dick, you know, if I really wanted to learn something, you teach me, you know what I mean, instead of being a douche, you know, be a teacher for once, but you know, me and Claude and Abel said now finally I'm gonna uh, get along, you know, we're back together on Skype, but uh, here's some deleted um, stuff I said, um, I forgot to say, um, Oh yeah, the part whenever I removed him from Skype, uh, I made a video about it, like, I'm gonna say, Claude, I'm tired of it. Yeah, you guys remember that video whenever I said I was gonna stop being friends with him on Skype, and that, that really did struck him, you know, him, uh, and he decided that he wanted to kept on calling back to me, and he promised he won't do it again, though, and he stopped, and it worked. Because wh when I made that video, I kind of thought that maybe it will work, and maybe it will get him to stop freaking agitate me all the time, I was calling me on Skype all the time when I'm trying to do something, because, you know, whenever I put, at least I figured out a way how to put it on private, like, you know, you guys know whenever I, when I go on Skype, you know, whenever you, whenever you put the little symbol on the top that says, do not disturb, because, you know, I was trying to make a commentary on something, then he kept on calling me on Skype over and over and over and over and over, and over again, and I was sick and tired of it, and... And then what I did is, I put on Do Not Disturb, and then the beep, and then go beep, 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 like the telephone going off, and just can't stop. But what I did is, I put on Do Not Disturb, worked. See, that's what I like about Skype, you know, I like Skype, it's better than phone calls. You know, I really wish, you know, phone calls are the same thing. That's what really pisses me off the most. Because this is pretty much the reason why I don't like cell phones. Because they don't have a thing like, do not disturb, too busy, offline, or blah blah blah. And just, I really wish cell phones are like that. I, I think smartphones are like that, but not my cell phone, actually. I have a Verizon wireless phone, it's a keyboard one. Uh, I hate those kind of phones. I mean, I'd rather have a smartphone, but those are so expensive. I mean, I really wish I was a rich person. If I really wanted to save that much money for a phone, I really wish. I'm saving up money for a car. I'm thinking about getting a car because I'm a big boy now. I'm 18, and I would rather get a car. So, um... But the reason why I sound like a little bit like this is because my um, I was talking a lot, though, so, um... But this is the legacy of Cloud 13 Eagles. The whole story, where it all began and where it all ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this documentary. I pretty much explained everything so now you understand now. What I've been going through on Skype and what I don't really like about Skype and what I really like about Skype. And so, I the reason what um, what really inspired me to do this really dot um, this really big documentary was um like do the documentary on Chris Chan. I didn't really know people do documentaries on bandwagons. I didn't really know that. I guess people can do documentaries on anything, you know, survival, mass murder, serial killers. 
um, hunting and uh, the army, the military, and so um. Well, anyways, I, I really, I hope you guys really like this uh, documentary. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, favorites, and this is the end of my documentary. And also subscribe for more uh, crazy nifty videos in the link to the description below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this documentary. The reason why I upload this on Monster Drink Fan Six of the Five because now I can finally upload videos over 50 minutes. I have been waiting for this for a few months now and I finally got it. All my account strikes have finally expired and now I'm happy. My bathroom tunes copyright flag has finally expired. It takes about 12 months for a copyright to expire and a community guideline strike to expire in 6 months. So all that is out of the way and Monster Drink Dance 605 will be alive for Ever. Unless if I do get more copyright strikes. If it's a false flag, then I'll report it and then I hope they accept it, you know, accept the appeal. But sometimes YouTube can be a douchebag and say, no, I'm not going to accept this appeal, you're an asshole, and you know, this is cyberbullying and blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this one thing. Some things you guys probably remember. You guys remember, you know, that Cloud 13 Gables in a nutshell video, which was removed for um, cyberbullying. Um, it was false flagged and it says harassment and bullying. I moaned about Cloud 13 Cloud 13 Gables actually admitted, and I was surprised that he admitted that he said he was butthurt and he was the one that removed the video. And um, I was like, okay, he removed the video. Butt hurt, and you know, I was surprised he didn't get pissed off though. I was kind of figured that maybe he would get pissed off or not though. But, but. So, um, uh, hope you guys heard the story about Cloud 13 Angels, and I hope you guys enjoyed this documentary. I know I didn't add any footage or anything like video cut to cut the thing ables, but, uh, but, uh, Hawthorne and the Ables actually does pretty good movies, and he has made skits, and some random videos, uh, he has YouTube partnership, and he has custom thumbnails and everything, like Shane Johnson, Smosh, uh, is it real, and Waffle Pun, no, what, not Waffle Pun, yeah, actually Waffle Pun is partnership, but he's not custom thumbnails, but, um, and Grandpa and Grandpa has custom thumbnails and they have partnership and, uh, so pretty much, you know, most of the people who have partnership, you know, they earn to make money and YouTube is actually a job. Some people say it's not a job though, but I agree with Mick Juggernauts. You know, the Psycho Dad videos, but Mick Juggernauts, I agree with them, okay? I agree. YouTube is actually a job because it, it makes money like every other job. You know, fast food restaurants, trucking, Goodwill, and Wendy's, you know, all other kinds of jobs. And so, yeah. But YouTube is actually is a job. And I, you know, I don't have anything to say about Cloud being able to aim at you know partnership. I don't really care what he does with partnership and he can do whatever he wants to. But he doesn't actually get that much views as much as uh, Shane Dodson or any other YouTuber does. He's not very popular and he's trying to look popular but he failed at it. He does get views, likes, he gets comments but not that much. But he's not really as popular as the, the Star Wars kid, and he's just you know, like, you know, the, the kid uh, who went to Tooth Fairy, and, I mean, well, Tooth, I mean, the dentist on that. Like, the day after the dentist video, that, that, that video was funny. There was a Darth Vader parody, and... 
yeah. But now you guys know the story of Cloth of the Ables, and I hope you enjoy this com this documentary. So, uh, I might probably do document more documentaries about this whenever I think of a person that caused drama in the past. If you ever want to deal with a person in your life on the internet or out in the real world, if anybody is like that is causing you so much stress and you want it to stop, here's what you need to do. What you can do is don't talk to them for a while, completely ignore them for like maybe a few days, a few months, and they'll be like, what's going on man, how come you haven't talked to me in a while, what's going on man, how come you haven't hang out with us for a while, come on hang out with us man, and just say, Cause you're treating me like freaking crap. I don't need that crap. And you'll see how that works. And I hope it works for you guys. It works for me with Black Thirteen Ables. Um, I really wish I could try that on Elijah. It, it could work on Elijah if he does keep on treating you like crap, though. But yeah. But give it a try. Give it a shot and see what happens. And so uh. I'm going to end this documentary here because documentaries are usually mostly like 45 minutes long. Some of them are actually an hour long too, but this is pretty much some documentaries I've seen which is pretty much long. And uh, I wish I had, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a co-op documentary one of these days. Maybe about O3 would be good. I can probably do a co-op documentary with, um, well this is pretty much a rant, but actually it's pretty much a documentary. It's about the style life of Potter the Angels. But maybe we'll probably do a documentary about it would be good since it's actually kind of a dead topic probably right now, but unless if he's still alive, I'm making dumb choices. So, thank you for watching this documentary, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for being here. If you ever go through a stress in your life, try the same thing I did. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more commentaries. Random shit, blah blah blah. And see you later.